Hello dear students, Assalamu alaikum, how are you? I hope you are all fine and you are ready for today's class. Today we are going to discuss about a very important part of English grammar. As you are students of class 7, I hope you got some prior ideas about right form of verbs. As we are discussing about right form of verbs, I am not going to discuss some very easy things which you have learned in class 6. Today we are going to discuss some very important and a bit difficult rules of right form of verbs. Now these rules are going to be an important asset for your whole life. Not only the students of class 7 but also the students of class 9, 10, 11, 12. Everyone will be benefited by this class. This is going to be a real charger. So let me tell you again, today I am going to discuss some tough rules, a bit difficult rules. Now before I begin, I would like to draw your kind attention to these things. I know you have got some ideas about it, but to remind you again, so I am writing these things. I have written these things so that you have understood or you will understand it better when I will discuss the rules. Number one thing that I have written here is the base form. We know the base form is the V1. Work, this is the base form. Number two is past form. V2 is the past form. Worked. So when I will tell you about V1, I am actually telling about the base form. When I am telling you about past form, I am telling you about V2. Then comes past participle form. This is the V3 form. In short, we define these things. So this is the past participle form of this V1 work, worked. Then the jiran form, verb plus ing, working, acting like a noun, s or es or ies form, works. So work is the main verb here, s is added because the subject may be third person singular number, that's why this is the change here. And another thing is that clause because lots of things will be discussed based on this clause. So you should have this idea about clause. Clause is the subject verb combination. I mean there will be a subject and there will be a finite verb and it will have a very good idea. We know there are also classification of clause but today we will discuss lots of things where clause this time will come. So we are going to discuss some very important and a bit difficult rules now. Let us see rule number one. If there is as if or as though or since in the middle and what kind of grammatical changes would happen if there is simple present tense or present indefinite tense or present perfect tense there will be past indefinite tense or simple past tense past indefinite means subject plus v2 that means the past form of this verb. Then there comes, if there is past indefinite tense, there will be past perfect tense. Past perfect means subject plus head plus V3. So there are two clauses. As we discuss about clause, there, if there are two clauses, and if there is as if or as though, or since in the middle, then what kind of grammatical changes would happen here? We will see from here. So if there is present indefinite tense in the first clause or present perfect tense in the first clause, and if there is as if or as though or since, the tense of the another clause will be past indefinite. If the past clause is, first clause is past indefinite, if as if or as though or since is there, then it will follow past perfect tense. That means subject plus head plus V3. That means the past participle form. Now let us see some examples. Okay. So this is an example. It is many years since is there, then I meet you. 
So, what is the tense here? It is present indefinite tense or simple present tense. Since is in the middle, then according to this rule, let us see if present indefinite tense is the first clause. So, this is the first clause. Since is there in the middle, since is there in the middle, then the tense will be past indefinite tense. So, here it will be M E T met. Present indefinite tense, since is there in the middle, then it will be past indefinite tense. That means the V2. See, this is the structure subject plus V2, subject plus V2. Let us see another example. If it is the same case, then what kind of problems will be there? It was many years since I here the first clause past indefinite tense or simple past tense since is there in the middle. So, since is there in the middle past indefinite tense is there. So, it will follow past perfect tense here something like this. So, here the change will be subject, subject is there plus past perfect that means the head plus V3 met. So, this will be the case. So, the change will be here I had met you. Since in the middle past indefinite in the first clause, past perfect will be in the second clause. I hope if you follow these examples, if you can remember this formula. Any question, any problem regarding this will be solved. Now, the grammatical changes or the language changes it depends on you. How you will change your language or how you will form the language depends on you. But how the verb will be changed, this is the main thing that I am going to discuss now. Now, rule number 2, present perfect or present perfect continuous past perfect or past perfect continuous. So, for and since period of time point of time it has been raining since morning has been raining for two days. So, the structure is if there is present perfect tense or present perfect continuous tense, past perfect or past perfect continuous tense for for and since, for actually refers to period of time and since refers to point of time. So, look at the example, it has been raining since morning, it has been raining for two days. Here, we are very specific about this time, since point of time, that means the time is fixed from morning the rain has started. And here for, for two days, we do not know from when or whether it is from Friday or from Saturday or from Sunday, we do not know. So, time is not specific here. So, for for period of time and for since point of time. So, this two things you should have in your brain for for period of time and since for point of time. Now, rule number three.
आफ्टर प्लस सब्जेक्ट प्लस पस परफेक्ट टेंस दैट मीन्स सब्जेक्ट प्लस हेड प्लस वी थ्री सो इफ दैट इज बिफोर इन द मिडल आफ्टर इन द मिडल इट विल बी सब्जेक्ट प्लस पस परफेक्ट सब्जेक्ट प्लस पस इंडिफिनिट फॉर आफ्टर सब्जेक्ट प्लस पस इंडिफिनिट फॉर बिफोर एंड सब्जेक्ट प्लस पस परफेक्ट फॉर आफ्टर सो दिस रूल इज हेयर एंड दिस रूल इज हेयर द चेंज इज फॉर बिफोर एंड आफ्टर सो लेट्स सी सम एग्जाम्पल्स after the rain had stopped the rain had stopped before we started for home so these are two examples see after is there before is there the tense is past indefinite tense or simple past tense and here after is there the tense is past perfect tense that means subject plus head plus v3 here before is there in the middle and the tense is past perfect and the tense of another clause is past indefinite subject plus v2 so remember when there is after when there is before this kind of grammatical changes will be done considering that very important tense tense is changing for after and for before now another rule rule number 4 if there is keep help without remain help without remain with a view to look forward to would you mind cannot help plus verb plus ing this is a very important grammatical rule now the example is he went to his friend's house with a view to getting a book so according to this rule if there is skip or help or without or remain or with a view to look forward to would you mind or cannot help after that the verb will take an ing this is the most important thing so give your concentration over here if there is anything like this then after this the verb will be verb plus ing now let's see the example he went to his friend's house why with a view to then according to rule there will be verb plus ing we know get when it becomes getting it becomes double t so getting t t ing a book so we can, you can you you can make lots of sentences using this would you mind giving me your pen i look forward to getting your reply this is very important we frequently use this rule in different grammatical things or in our writing so let's focus on another rule rule number 5 
if there is desire, promise, decide their hope, decide their hope, want, refuse, expect, want, refuse, expect, wish, offer, wish or offer, there will be 2 plus verb So example is, I have decided to do it. If there is desire, if there is promise, decide, dare, hope, want, refuse, expect or wish or offer, there will be infinitive to. That means two plus base form of the verb. So example is, I have decided to do it after decided because decided this is the verb here. So, according to this rule after decided there will be 2 plus base form that means this is infinitive to do it. The students you have to remember and you have to memorize these verbs and you have to memorize that if this kind of verb is there in the example after this verb there will be 2 plus v1. So, there is only one way is to memorize these verbs otherwise you will not be able to understand or you will not be able to answer the right change of the verb. Now focus on the next rule. We have seen that in the in previous rule a change and this will be another. Excuse, avoid, pardon, suggest, Suggest, start, practice, prefer, finish, enjoy, then verb plus ing. Let us see an example. Stop doing your work. So, this is also another very important thing. In the previous rule we have seen if these there are some verbs after this verb there will be 2 plus verb that means the infinitive form but here the form is changes. Remember these verbs should be memorized. So according to this rule if there is excuse or stop or avoid or advise or consider or pardon, suggest, start, practice, prefer, finish, enjoy. If any verb is there after this verb there will be verb plus ing. This is an example stop this is the verb here. So according to this rule if there is a stop this kind of verb then after this the verb will be with an ing. So do is the main verb after do ing is added according to this rule this is a correct sentence. So stop doing your work. Let us see another example. He started within bracket work on it. If this is an example according to this rule what will be the change here can you guess? So according to this rule the change will be he started working. If there is a start after a start verb plus ing he started working on it. Another rule. This is rule number 7. If there is it is time or it is high time, or there is wish or fancy, so 
subject plus v2 it is high time we did our job if this is the case then according to this rule if there is it is time or it is high time or wish or fancy if there is a subject then after this subject there will be the past form of the verb so you have to remember these things if there is it is time or it is high time or wish or fancy after this the subject then verb will be of past form it is high time so according to this it is high time is there then the subject is we then after this according to this rule verb will be v2 that means do is the main verb it becomes v2 that means it becomes did our job so you can give another example let's see i wish i this is an example another example i wish i write a poem so according to this rule if there is a wish wish is there then what kind of changes will be there there if there is subject subject is here then the right will be wrote the v2 form so look at this example and look at this rule you will see this is exactly following the rule is written use the right form of verbs the right form of verbs you have to change these verbs according to the rules discussed 10 years have passed since kareem his father so you have to write whether what kind of changes will be there with the verb 5 years passed since i meet you the doctor after the patient die d we cannot help love is the verb at his work so you have to tell me what kind of changes will be there with this verb okay dear students now these are the homework for you 10 years have passed since kareem within bracket the verb is lose his father five years passed since i within bracket the verb is meet you the doctor verb is come after the patient die is the verb then d number we cannot help within bracket the verb is love at his work and this one i have finished verb is read the book so you have to change these verbs according to the rule that i discussed in this class I hope you enjoyed this class you will get this video in Kishore Batayan if you want you can pass your comments over there all the best wishes for you thank you